What's up guys, welcome to Hardwin82 channel, I'm Adam and today we are gonna talk about how to install Windows 10 on the laptop or on the PC, whatever. Recently I've noticed, and this is quite uh, shocking to me, that this subject is one of the most common things looked on the internet, especially on uh, YouTube. So, fear no more, Adam is here, I'm gonna show you how to install this freaking operating system right now. Stage one. First, we need to do some kind of preparation. So first of all, you need to have a pen drive, something like this. Uh, it cannot be smaller than eight gigs, so at least eight gigs of memory pen drive. This is step one. Step two, if you are installing your operating system on the brand new computer or you don't care about the data, you can skip this part. But if you want to refresh your Windows, you need to do some backup. So first of all, we need to take care of your important stuff like your documents and, uh, and other important stuff. So how to do that? Um, you could use things like uh, cloud storage and just move all your data to the cloud provider. Uh, but that obviously costs some money. There are plenty cloud services for free, but they are very limited. Uh, uh, with a space could be one gig, five gigs, but Depends how much data you need, um, the price will vary. Or you can do it completely for free. If you have an external drive, big pen drive, you could just simply copy that information to your pen drive. But for me, the easiest way to make a copy of your data is just to copy your data to another partition. So, for example, me. I have many partitions, so I can just drag all that shit that I have on my desktop and my documents and everything. I can just copy all of that and just place it to one of my drives or one of my partitions. But let's say you don't have partitions, you have just one. Let's say you just have this C drive, that's it. So if you have a lot of space like this, this partition here, I have a lot of space. So. If your partition C looks a little bit like this, you could divide this partition to at least two parts. So idea is this, you wanna move everything from partition C to somewhere else, because this partition will be formatted. Of course, there is a way to install your operating system without losing data, but uh, I don't wanna talk about this in this video because I don't like this solution. My many years of experience is not letting me do that. Basically, you might have some kind of a problem. And the whole idea of installing fresh operating system is to have fresh new start. With this solution, like you will try to install your operating system on your previous one. This will cause some problems. And my conscience is not letting me you to do that so we will do the fresh install fresh start so you want to try to find some space like in my case i have a lot of space here i will go to this location make a folder and i will just copy and paste everything that i have so you need to be careful you need to think a little bit where is your important data because it's very easy to copy information and documents from the desktop and my documents folder but you might have some important information inside, uh, let, let's say your internet browser, or maybe you're using one of those email clients and you have some important data, so you need to focus on that. So first of all, make a list. Where is your important data? Just write it down, your desktop, your, my, your uh, folder with documents, have a look what is in exactly on your partition C, because like I said, partition C will be completely destroyed. In case of uh, having only one drive, uh, you could do two things. Thing number one, copy everything to external, external drive. Option two, if you have enough space, in my case I don't have it, but let's say you have some space here, like uh, this bar is only occupied to the half, let's say, so you could divide this partition to two pieces and then uh, and then just move your stuff to the other part there was a video i was talking about this i, th I think the title was 
the five things you should do straight away after you buy a brand new laptop. So in that movie, I will just place it here. I'm talking about dividing partition to two pieces. So if you want to know how, the, how that works, just, just press here. Okay, so we have our data secured. What is the next stage? The next stage is uh, downloading the newest Windows operating system. And this is very important be because you don't want to install the old version of Windows 10. Windows 10 is with us for a freaking many years. I, I, oh, actually, I will have a I will have a look how long that is. Wow, Windows 10 is with us from 2015, so freaking six years. So from the time Microsoft made a lot of changes and this is important, you don't wanna install old version of Windows 10 uh, because for sure you will have some problems. Uh, I remember some time ago I replace my graphic card and I had some problems with that. It was very weird. Uh, nothing was helping. I was like, what the heck is going on? I was installing the newest um, the newest drivers and everything. And then I've noticed that my Windows wasn't updated and that was causing a problem. Uh, so, so yeah, if you want to avoid all kinds of problems, especially uh, the problems with security, you need to have the newest Windows operating system. How to do that? Very simple. Go to google.com, just paste download, download Windows 10. Go here, because we wanna install the fresh operating system, we will choose this option, download tool now. So this thing will download, it's called media creation tool. This tool will help you create bootable pen drive with Windows operating system. I already have this on my on my computer, so I will just run it. It's very simple. Obviously, you need to accept what next. Again, we want to do a fresh new start, so we will choose this create installation media. Uh, you can use recommended options, but I will change to different language. Okay. Remember, stick with 64 bit version. Just press next. And now you have two choices. You could use pen drive and just stick it to your USB port and this tool will create, create everything for you. Or you can download file ISO. It's like an image of the whole installation. And you can save it on your drive if you don't want to do any kind of modification, you could just use this USB flash drive, press next. You need to put your drive into the USB uh, port and just wait. Uh, I already downloaded this file, so I, I have it here. It is like you see, it's 4.4 gigabytes. So you need to have at least eight gigs of pen drive. So if you choose this option like me and you have this file on your drive, from now on, you could use program like Rufus. Just run it. You need to select your image. Okay, so this is my image. You need to place your USB drive to USB port. Okay. All right, everything is ready. Just You could just simply press start. Small tip. If you have a little bit older computer or older laptop, you might have a problem with starting the whole process because this USB will not be recognizable. So in case of that, you need to go back to this program Rufus and instead of using GPT, you need to change that to MBR, master boot record. I don't want to go too much in this. The only thing you need to know is with the older equipment, you need to just change that and that's it. When you're ready, press start. Obviously, all your data will be gone because it's destroying the data. So be careful. And when you're ready, press OK. OK, it's almost 100%. Finally, 100%. Okay, so data is secure. We have a bootable pen drive. But before you start installing anything, 
you need to make sure that you have your activation key. If you bought a laptop with already installed Windows operating system, this key will be on the label on the back of the, uh, of the laptop. If you have a PC like me, have a look, maybe you have a label somewhere um, glued to your case. If you don't have any and you need to acquire new Windows, it's not gonna be a problem. I, I will show you a small trick. Just simple, go to ebay.com or co.uk, wherever you are. Just type Windows 10 key and have a look. The cheapest, the cheapest one is for almost six pounds. It's, it will be around six dollars as well. And uh, yeah, just use this. The only thing you need to do, you need to read the description uh, because sometimes those keys are for only specific version of Windows. For example, might be only for Windows 10 Professional or Windows Home or something like that. So simply read the description and, uh, and that's it, you will be okay. For example here, please read description. This is very important because this might not work if you do not do exactly what they ask you to do. From my experience, I, I can tell you, this is working and this is uh, completely legit. So you are buying this, this key, paying by PayPal, you will have your email instantly. Usually it's around 10 minutes. And most of the time, the only, re the only requirement is this. You need to use that key when you install your operating system, not later. When you are installing your system, at some point he will ask you for a key and you need to provide that specific key straight away. You, you cannot do that later. Okay guys, so we have everything what we need. So, so let's get started. So your pen drive is ready. Just stick it to your USB port and to restart your computer. Depends from the settings you have, you need to check what is your boot order. So in other case, your computer or your laptop, when it's booting, will check first what is the priority. So you might have settings set up to drive, hard drive, optic drive, not necessarily to your pen drive. So you need to change that. So you need to make this pen drive as a number one in your boot order. Most of the time you don't have to even go inside to the BIOS and change any settings. The, the only thing you need to do is press one of those buttons here. Usually it's F12, but it might be in your case F8, F11, something like that. So when you press it, you will go straight to your boot menu and you will just choose your uh, a USB drive. If you have any other problems like weird uh, warning sites, don't worry about that. Just go on the internet and have a look what it exactly means because you might have something called secure boot on and you need to disable that. Whatever warning sign appears, just, just check on Google, that's it. How the whole process of installation Windows 10 looks like, I will, I will show you here. Everything you have here, just read and press next, that's it. So freaking simple these days. Back in the day, yeah, that was, that was complicated. You need to uh, be aware of many things, but today everything is so automated, very simple. So choose the language, choose the time, blah, keyboard or input method, everything you have here, and then just press next. We don't wanna repair our computer. We, we wanna install everything from the scratch. And this is the part I was talking about. If you acquire your key from eBay, this is the moment where you should put that key. Okay, for my purposes, I will just skip this. Another important thing, if you acquire a key to, let's say, Windows operating system home, then you choose this one, but if you if you acquire to something else like education or pro, you need to select different operating system. So probably it will be Windows Pro. Press next. 
yeah i accept and again we don't want to upgrade we want a fresh install so we will use this custom i think in your case will be something like this you will see those two partitions one will be hidden and it's very very small it's only 50 megabytes and another one is this main partition so uh, what i am usually doing is uh, i'm deleting the first partition be, be careful don't don't uh, delete something important here so in my case i will delete this partition and this one as well and i will let windows operating system to choose whatever he wants to do just press next if you are doing this for the very first time I just want to let you know the whole process is much simpler these days I think today the most important thing is preparation before you start doing anything and few things you need to do after installing Windows operating system and that's it the whole procedure is very simple like you just saw I just press a few times next 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 accept that's it and uh, Windows is doing everything for you and again just a few more questions choose your name password confirm your password security questions can I skip this shit mm, not really oh my lord so security questions you need to fill that now a few other questions so you need to you need to think what is important for you so just, just spend some time over over here and decide windows these days is very smart and he will try to find all the drivers you need so if you're connected to internet and uh, after the very first start the windows will try to find the best drivers for you so as we speak he's trying to connect to internet but i block it uh, by my firewall and uh, he will try like I said he will try to configure everything and download everything you need so basically basically that's it the only thing you need to check later is your device it's called a device manager just simply press here on the my computer go to manage or you can use this and just put device device manager and have a look if you have everything here like I have so you don't want to have any question marks you don't want to have any weird uh, information here if you have let's say there is a problem with your graphic card and there is a, like a question mark here just press here and press update and uh, search so the most important thing after you install Windows operating system is check if you have all the drivers you need if there is a problem let's say with your printer just make a note what kind of pr printer you have this the model number and everything and just simply go to google simply put something like canon printer driver and you need to be very specific so you need to put the model number uh, eight let's say 8200 driver this will go to the support page of the canon and simply download and install any drivers you need if you're not sure what to do in this section if you still have a problem with uh, with a driver you cannot find this you could use something like uh, driver booster that program will install for you all drivers you need but again my conscience is not letting me recommend this software because that program used to be good but not not anymore it's preloaded with a lot of shit basically so instead of having one driver booster app you will end up having lots of different apps for a screen capture as uh, VPN providers lots of things you don't want to have 
so these days this program is a really pain in the ass so yeah you can still use it and this will still scan your uh, hardware and it will find the drivers you need but I don't know maybe after you, you've done everything just uninstall everything all right guys con congrats you have your Windows operating system installed and everything is sweet um, don't forget to do updates and also I recommend you to watch my clip about five things you should do after you buy a brand new laptop there are a few things that might be very useful for you so also have a look I'm talking about the antivirus should you use different antivirus maybe yes maybe not so have a look at this have a look at this video and again thank you for watching if you found this video interesting consider subscribing and you can smash that like button if you want if not maybe Hulk will speak with you about that so yeah thank you very much and see you next time thank you